think it's just understanding that people aren't things aren't laws they're not set in stone they always come from somewhere you know your ideas about what to teach and what to study they're all part of identity and background and so I think understanding this helps develop empathy with others in a world that is just shrinking all the time and that's huge and also understanding better yourself um, how learning works in yourself and how to develop skill and, and realize your dreams and, and to communicate um, you you understand why you believe what you believe and how it's guiding how you work on things. I just personally feel that I've been a much happier teacher when I'm seeing students achieve and get results. And it was when I learned to stop blaming it on them, judging them. I mean, in and think that when instead realize that when they were failing, it, I, perhaps I could provide better scaffolding or structure what I was doing better so that they could succeed because, you know, nobody comes to college to fail. <laughs> and um, it it's so much more fulfilling to me to have a procedure and just a list of steps to follow uh, guidance and not have to reinvent the wheel all the time by myself in the dark, but to see what actually works and not just make it up. <laughs> You know, you, you want to um, embrace people for who they are and understand that you're never going to fully understand somebody. Uh, it's it's kind of a constructivist thing, too. Um, when you are speaking, um, everybody processes what's your, your stories and relates them to your own, their own lives. And you just need to be aware of that as a teacher and make sure um, when you're designing your curriculum backwards, right? I like the Wiggins, the backwards design um, materials that um, you spend a lot of time, you know, nailing down what exactly are your objectives and then making sure that you stratify what you're doing in the activities so that a lot of diverse learners will experience in a way that makes sense to them. And you never are going to quite know what that is until, you know, you have the assessment and see what they really got. But you just keep trying things. Oh, <laughs> For me, gosh, it's so rewarding. I There's nothing better than seeing that light bulb go off with students and hearing the audience laugh, you know, but it's, it's because I was successful in making it a safe place for them to play around on the stage. It's always a study, so I try things and I have limited success and then I tweak it the next time and just, you know, keep playing around with it and I never get bored <laughs> it's it's so fulfilling